third quarter of the year. Uh, what's the word? Starting with July. July was adventurous. Uh, I spent at least one night in July in Olaf, Kansas, Omaha, Nebraska, Fargo, North Dakota, Custer, South Dakota, Boise, Idaho, and Vegas, Nevada. Also drove through parts of uh, Utah and Wyoming and Iowa to get to all those places and Missouri. So I was in 10 states, I think the total is, in July. Um, it was fun. It was a lot of waking up early. It was a lot of driving. Uh, it was tough physically and mentally. Not a ton of poker because of that week in the middle where I went on that road trip with the uh, national parks and saw the bison and everything. There he is. Found one. As this bison crosses the stream. It was fun, but uh, it was adventurous. It was different than all the other months of the year until I got back to uh, Vegas in late July and got back to my uh, poker routine. August was uh, solid. Just solid in terms of hours, solid in terms of money. Uh, wasn't like one of the top months of the year in terms of money, but it was more than I expect to make in a month. So that was good. And after getting back to Vegas in late July, and actually the last week of July was very poor in terms of uh, money. Just like every single run out was going the way of uh, the other player. So July was poor. I think in the first 10 days back, I lost like $1,000. But things started turning around in August. Um, got back into playing a bunch of hours. Got back into getting some run outs to go my way. And I knew the 100 hours challenge in 10 days was uh, about to happen in early September. So especially towards the end of July, I was kind of like practicing for it, getting back into the routine of a lot of hours and uh, you know, playing all day, go to sleep, get right back up and uh, play again. So August was solid. September, interestingly enough, even with the 100 hours challenge in 10 days, was a restful month for me. After that challenge, instantly on the 11th, I did play the Bally's free roll early in the morning, or late morning, I guess. And after that, I uh, took some time off. I took the rest of those five days off, Sunday through Thursday. I did play it on the weekend, and then the following week I was at the Rio again, and didn't play much. I think I played just 23 hours and change over an 11 day stretch in the middle of the month even though that was after 100 hours three minutes in the first 10 days of the month where i made almost two thousand dollars by the way but that middle chunk of the month was uh definitely restful didn't do a lot in terms of uh editing and youtube things didn't do much in terms of poker either by the second or third day of that break like september 13th or so i had a uh, keep track videos and the challenge videos the 100 hours challenge videos planned for the rest of the month so i was able to take some time off from uh, filming and editing and doing things like that and just kind of uh, rest and hang out in my real room and uh, eat sandwiches and watch seinfeld at two in the morning until i fell asleep uh, fun things like that so september despite the challenge was restful yeah i got i got it at the stadium